Good morning, Dragon Page. Mama Dragon here. Uh, Tuesday Tea Talk. I got 10 minutes to fire you up, make you feel good, make you feel like if you're on a journey to become your best, that you are definitely, definitely, definitely on the right path. Happy 4th of July. Um, I couldn't find tea. So today I have, we're going to call it extra dark organic black tea or just coffee. Hey Christina, good morning. Um, so I've got my coffee here ready to talk about freedom. It's the 4th of July. Um, so today I really thought talking about freedom would be perfect because this is the day, especially if you're living in the U.S., that we celebrate our freedom as a country. We celebrate our freedom, um, you know, and just what that means for us. Good morning, Wendy. Um, so Specifically, when it comes to um, freedom in your fitness journey, and your wellness journey, we all come to a place where we really want to become our best. Even if you have been tiptoeing the fence and you see other people around you, it's really hard to ignore right now that there is a ton of information out there and there are a ton of people that are really committed to getting healthy, that are really committed to living in bodies that they feel good in. Well, the main reason why we do this is because we want to feel freedom in our bodies. We want to feel like we can go anywhere, do anything, move in any way possible. Um, and that is true, true freedom, having true freedom in the body that you were given, not looking at it with judgmental eyes, not comparing yourself, looking at these people saying, why don't I look like this? Why, why aren't I, why don't I have this? Why, you know, just eliminating all of that. And that is true freedom. And when you can find that, you are going to be unstoppable. That's why we go on these journeys. That's why we do this. Um, is because we really want to feel that freedom in our body. Well, it's easy to get sidetracked right now. You are being flooded with information, flooded with things. Try this, do this, try this. And so a lot of people won't even start on the journey. But what freedom looks like in your body is you being able to take complete ownership of where you are. I spent two days at a theme park, water park, with my family and saw really, really what we're looking at here in America. We are so, so lucky to have our freedom. Um, we are so, so lucky to have all of these resources at our fingertips, but it's made it very, very easy for us to get off track in our wellness um, and how we are in our physical bodies. I saw it in the, at this theme park. I saw people walking around so unhealthy, so unhappy looking, yelling at their kids, looking at, you know, people with eyes that were judgmental and, and not being supportive of each other and being rude and just seeing the physical conditions of people, the majority of people. I said to my mom, would you say 80% of these people here are either overweight or obese or look unhappy? She said yes, 80% of the adults. And that's not even talking about the kids. The kids were probably about 60%. This is not cool. So how do we create more freedom? It starts by starting the journey. It starts by wanting it bad enough. The girls, the women in Dragon Fit that know that it's not a perfect journey, that know that it's going to take work, that know we're going to have to take a hard look at ourselves, you guys are doing that. You guys are doing that so, so completely. But you got to be in partnership with your body. You got to be not in partnership with the doctors, not in a partnership with the people that try and get you to take a certain product or be on something. You got to be in a partnership with you. And that is the hardest thing. The hardest thing to convince yourself that you can trust yourself, that your body wants to do good work for you. Your body wants to be healthy. So when you take a step forward and say, I'm in a partnership with my body, you're going to notice freedoms within yourself that you never knew you had. I know that the ladies that are watching right now, 
can testify for this, that this freedom that you do find in your body only comes when you take a step back and you say, all right, body, I am going to work with you. What do you actually need? What do we actually need to do? It's not the binge eating. It's not the emotional eating. It's the not cheat day. I hate cheat days. Cheat days need to go away because it puts in our mindset that it's, you know, it's a negative thing to be on the right track, that we get to reward ourselves with this cheat day. No. When you start really making the changes, when you start eating healthier, when you start moving your body, and when you are committed to this journey, the reward is how good you feel. The reward is eating healthy. The reward is getting to move your body. We have a ton of freedoms here in America. Going to other countries, serving in other countries on mission work, We don't realize how lucky we are here to have the fact that we have to turn down a corn dog, that we have to turn down the bad crap that's going to make us unhealthy. We are lucky to have this freedom. And I know you know if you're watching this that if you get to be on a device that you can see somebody stream live, that you're very lucky to have that. So why not take the freedom that we have, the freedom that we have in this country to choose healthy, to choose our best, to choose being at partnership with our body, and use that to help others. That's what you guys are doing. Freedom is something that we know is not free. We know we have, there are people sacrificing for us in other countries. There are people that sacrifice their lives for us. Why not put some sacrifice back on ourselves? It might feel like sacrifice when you start, oh, I got to go train. I got to work out rather than watch this show. Okay. Or, no, I can't have this bad food. I have to sacrifice that and make this choice instead. But really, when you look at it, it's not really even a sacrifice. So again, so proud of the work that the dragon women are doing to prove um, that this is possible, that discovering your best, that finding freedom in your body and having that immense amount of gratitude each and every day for our ability to move, for our ability to influence others positively, for our ability to be loving because we're choosing this path. It's not, it's not something that we're forced to do. We're not forced to be in Dragon Fit. We're not forced to work out. We want it. We crave it. We move forward. And I'm so proud of the women that are doing this work, the new women that are hopping on board and learning just how possible it is to have true and utter freedom in your body. Thank you for the love. I have no idea what time it is because my phone is not around me. So I don't know if I've been rambling for 10 minutes or not. But that's what I had to say this morning about freedom and and just wanting everybody to have this. Every woman to have this sense in her body that she can do anything. That she can achieve anything. And knowing it's not going to be a quick fix. We're over the quick fixes. We want you to find freedom in your body and be patient with yourself. Be in a partnership with your body and know you really, really, really can do anything. (laughs) You really, really can achieve these things and you really, really, really can get healthy. Oh, thank you, Wendy. You got my back. Okay, well, I have have like another minute or so. So I guess my other note was how to achieve this sense of freedom. Um, Because a lot of people are going to say, yeah, that sounds great. Danielle, Mama Dragon, that sounds really great. I want to be free, but we're still, you know, something still comes up, that sense of insecurity or that sense of can I really do it? And that's where this work comes in. That's where this work and this work comes in. We're really, really, really big on this in Dragon Fit because we've come to find out when people just change physical aspects of their life and don't work on what goes on in here, that's when you fall off the wagon. That's when you get back into bad patterns. And that's when something else will come up that can shake you. No, we're teaching you how to be unshakable on the inside because you've walked a walk. You've gone through the journey. You've said, hey, this might not be a healthy way of thinking. Or this might be holding me back from freedom. Taking a really solid look at what's going on within you whether it's stuff that's happened in the past, whether it's stuff that's held you back, whether it's stuff that's just silly you shouldn't even be thinking anyways and you need us to tell you that, 
You got to go through that. You got to have people that are willing to help you look at your journey, look at all your cards laid out in front of you and say, now we move forward because the end goal always has been, always will be freedom. There are people walking around trapped in bodies that they don't belong in, trapped in bodies that are unhealthy and it's causing it's rippling out into the rest of their lives. And I was heartbroken seeing it at this water park, but it gave me more hope. It made me realize that there's a lot of work to do. It made me realize that we have to approach this in a way that is safe, that people can understand, that's not just a sales gimmick, that's not get rich quick. That's not going to work anymore, guys. And we got to approach this in a way um, that makes people feel good in their body because a lot of people are not feeling good. So with that being said, I'm going to go on my morning run. I'm going to go celebrate freedom today. And I want you all, dragon ladies, non-dragon ladies, Tommy, I saw you're on here. Hey, Tommy. Um, to enjoy, to be grateful, to be glad that we have this amazing freedom that we get to live in a place that's free, that we get to be surrounded by people that love us, and that we have a chance. We have a shot in this body that we're living in to do some amazing things. Dragon women are doing it. Anybody can do it. And I hope you do. I hope you do. So we'll see you soon. We'll see you next week. Tea talking it up. I always love it. I'm coming back. I'll, have, I'll actually have tea next time. But today, you know, just got to go with the flow. I'm here in Sweet Home, Indiana. I'll be back in Texas next Tuesday. We'll see you soon, guys. Bye!